Almost half of all harvested timber is designed to be cut and nailed into shelter. If you didn't have wood, you wouldn't have houses. But why? We know that pound for pound, wood is as strong as steel. Well, it turns out that it's more than strength that makes wood the ultimate construction material. For one thing, despite its strength, wood is remarkably easy to work with. We can saw and cut an end off it, or we can drill it, or we can drive a nail in it. It's very hard to drive a nail in a steel I-beam. It's something that we take for granted, but it turns out that the relationship between wood and nails is unique. And it's why so many houses are built out of the stuff, including ones built in factories. Every year, Clayton Homes in Norris, Tennessee, consumes 130 million board feet of lumber, the equivalent of a 13,000 acre forest of softwood pine and spruce. And that's just one factory. Nationwide, Clayton constructs 32,000 homes every year, and every one of them is held together by the bond between wood and nail. If you were to think about it in terms of truckloads of lumber, it would be a truck caravan stretching for 100 miles to deliver that much lumber to our, our home building facilities. Clayton's 120,000 square foot floor remains constantly stocked with at least a million dollars in materials. 90% of it is wood. The lumber portion of a home that is built is approximately somewhere between 40 and 45% of the cost of all materials in a home. So to build a home, you're gonna have 45% of the cost of the materials in a lumber or a lumber product. So how do you turn a stack of lumber into a finished house? by taking advantage of the incredible bond between wood and nails. And if you want to do it fast, you unleash a platoon of workers armed with powerful nail guns. These air-powered guns may be state-of-the-art, but the act of holding wood together with nails is as old as carpentry itself. A nail entering wood, and it's, it's a primitive fastening system has been used for a long time, and that it works very well. And the reason why is because of wood's unique cellular structure. In every board, wood cells are like a bundle of straws. As the nail is forced into the wood, these cells are spread apart, but then they quickly collapse back, literally gripping the nail. Of course, it all happens in just a split second, which is good because when you're assembling a house, every second counts. 